Access denied. Oh no. I missed the, the countdown. <clears throat> and now we have to wait for 20 seconds. Let's just use the weapon mod, by the way. I'll have to use one of the stop worms for this. Access granted. Okay. Now, this one's important. Because it gives you some hints about um, the problem that Megan had. And she actually talked about it, or she tried to, but yeah. And in some way it concerns the main character. Uh, you can also get here from the sewer lines, but I'm gonna show you another way. And that's why I threw the boxes into in the back alley. Okay. <coughs> So you jump on the first, crouch, and then you just do this. Until you reach the level. So, that's it. That's uh, one main mission and the side mission that involves your <coughs> ex-girlfriend. I'll turn those two in, because they are on the same way. And then I'll talk to this girl. Because she gives us the last really big side mission that actually um, requires a lot of walking around. And it's like a side mission with three different tasks. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. A second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. 
I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam, that's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And um, do you, do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. <sighs> this head bobbing during the conversations. It's really Where bothering you, me Jensen? because... I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Yeah, just as I said, it kind of bothers me because it's just breaking the atmosphere every time. And it keeps being like that for the entire game. Yeah. <clears throat> Jensen's hobby is like... Um, yeah, kind of... Medieval machines. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Let me guess. 
You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. <clears throat> okay, here's the big secret. Um... Access granted. Guess what? I mean, the TV is fancy enough, but damn. And the cool thing is, this is one of the special mods, basically. <coughs> Um, this is what you can use only once and it will change the way a certain weapon is being yeah, being used. So this adds um, an armor penetration mod to your pistol. So you fire armor piercing rounds. I must say though, because I usually aim for the head, it didn't really bother me to have it on or not. Since, you know, it's deadly anyways, if you hit the head. Okay. Well, this is gonna be the second side mission now. Um, what I wanna do, I wanna show you those weirdo weapons that we collected. And afterwards, I'll move on to uh, side mission number three. So, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks, you have to reload every time. Please, please don't kill me. That's the, the weapon itself. It's um, not too effective though. It stuns, which is good. It doesn't kill. But for some reason, I mean, for the one shot thing, it's just not good enough. So yeah, see you in the next mission. Okay. So let's go and do the last side mission before continuing with the main plot. Now on the third side mission in the Detroit City Hub also is connected to some Gentlemen, of the areas. I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. Okay. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. The last side mission is connected to the area where one of the main missions um, will continue. So that's why I took the time to do the, un to do the other ones first before taking this one up. Hey, Jensen. Long time no see. Jensen. My god, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I like your new style. A bit revealing for my taste, but not entirely unappealing. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up, big boy. I'm undercover, keeping tabs on derelict row ballers. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. And without